Okay, car hater here. Hey, look at these two hot rides. How many of you nerds know what these cars are? Probably not many of you, but this was Motor Trend's car of the year, the 1987 Ford Thunderbird Turbo Coupe. This one's a cool one too because it is a stick shift. So this has the 190 horsepower versus the lower uh, output of the automatic. Cool car, always like these. Actually had one has the keyless entry code key as I always called it. This car has definitely seen better days. As you know, I think uh, last week I did the, uh, what was it, the uh, Impala SS. So anyway, this car doesn't have the leather. However, it does have the rear equalizer. Oh, of course this guy doesn't have that equalizer set up right. He's got them going up, it should be going the other way. Probably most of you don't even know how to set up an equalizer. So, says 88,000 miles. I don't know why. The shifter's that way. Who knows if it was clocked, if it is just stopped working. Another cool feature about this car was, um, you know, you had all these things for the headlights and the auto dim and the fogs. But on this side, you had, see, it says fuel regular or fuel premium. So, you could run 87 or, I don't even know if they had 93 back then, or high test. So it also has the ride, auto, and firm. Really cool. Doesn't have a moonroof. This one has the cool premium sound from Ford. But what a nice car. And check out this. Right there in the middle. Has all the seat buttons and everything else. Fun car to drive. 2.3 turbo. This was also found in the Mare Core XR4Ti. That car had this engine. But with reduced power because it didn't have the intercooler. Intercooler, believe it or not, is right up on the top. I actually had an XR4Ti. I added the Turbo Coupe intercooler. I made a whole snorkel system and everything. Looked pretty factory. Did a good job. Oh, yeah, it has the fog lights there, too. Then you have the LSC. Lincoln Sport Coupe Mark 7. Cool car also. Has that same keyless entry. I don't know if you can see in here too well. I can't even see that well. Nice seats, leather, all dry rotted out, whatever. Interior is a little shoddy. Uh, seems like it's missing the radio. The body's in good shape though. Body's actually a lot better shape than this turbo coupe. Yeah. You know what's funny? You'll find a lot of cool stuff here at Crazy Joe's. I mean, you know, a lot of older customers with weird stuff sometimes. But yeah, this car really does need some love. I could definitely give it to it too, especially with the black. But I think this one might need a little paint job missing the turbo coupe badge but you could definitely buff a black car out and kind of bring it back to life more so than anything else also for some reason missing the turbo coupe badges right there on the sides but um this car is definitely like a bullet when you drive it because it's you know big long and very very aerodynamic i mean just look at the point on this thing real cool Versus, of course, the Mark 7 is more blocked out. Yeah, it's boxy, whatever. Oh, look at that. It's got the cat, cat eye fog lights. Cool ride, man. Cool rides. This is stuff that I grew up with. And definitely, you know, this is my time. 80s, 90s. I think, like, really, in reality, the best year for cars was, like, the 89, you know. But this particular car only ran for two years. It was 87 and uh, 88 by 89 they came out with the super coupe so it didn't have a long run to it of course the older versions had the four square headlights in the front and they were boxed out and they also didn't have as much horsepower i think they were limited to like 190. so real cool stuff read up on them if uh, you didn't know about it or if you want to know more about it hey give me a call